हेलो माय सेल्फ जितेश एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल जितेश टैग गुरु सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज सर्किट ब्रेकर सर्किट ब्रेकर इंप्लीमेंटेशन इन माइक्रो सर्विसेज सो व्हाट इज सर्किट ब्रेकर लेट्स शो यू आई शो यू वन पिक्चर ओके सो पिक्चर इज सच टाइप व्हाट इज सर्किट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू लर्न व्हाट इज सर्किट सर्किट इज सम काइंड ऑफ स्विच Some kind of switch. This is on, off. If you put on state, it means your electricity will flow. And if it is in off state, then your electricity will not flow. Okay. So this is the concept where circuit broker comes. Circuit broker says if switch is on, switch is on. it means your whatever you are performing the task whatever you are performing the task that is going to okay but if switch is off if switch is off you are not going to perform your task this is your bucket and this is your tap of water okay so if it is on your bucket will fill and if it is off your bucket will not fill this is the concept of the circuit breaker okay so we will see you real time scenario we will show you real time scenario how it implement into your application in application okay so let's suppose there is a more than one application this is app 1 which is calling to app 2 okay now this service is dependent on this service it depends on a this service but somehow later this test this service is down this service is down so it means if user hit to app 1 app 1 and in the success scenario in the success scenario success means it returns success response once app 1 is up app 2 is up it returns the success response and it returns the failed response once app 1 is up and app 2 is down it returns the failed response okay but ultimately app 1 should reply this is the case 1 case 1 app 1 should reply some kind of data some kind of data okay so scenario 1 is app should return app 1 should return some kind of data to client this is scenario 1 what scenario 2 scenario 2 says if user oblique client call app 1 and app 1 hit every time app 2 it's wrong na let's suppose app 1 hit first time it's down app 2 hit second time it's down app 3 hits third time it's down so what do you mean every time it should call app 2 it is unnecessary burden to app 1 because app 1 because app 1 continue to call app 2 even app 1 knows it may be down it may not be down 
सो वाई नॉट रेट आई आफ्टर सम टाइम वाई नॉट रेट आई आफ्टर सम टाइम इफ आफ्टर सम टाइम इट विल रेट आई दिस इज अनदर फंक्शनैलिटी दिस इज अनदर फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर ओके बट अंटिल वॉट रिस्पॉन्स अंटिल सर्किट ब्रेकर और यू कैन से योर अप्लीकेशन विल स्टॉप द एप टू कॉलिंग दिस इज द गेट दिस सम काइंड ऑफ चेक इज प्रजेंट सो एप टू विल स्टॉप कॉलिंग फ्रॉम द एप वन एंड वॉट इट विल रिप्लाई इट विल रिप्लाई सम डमी डाटा और इट विल रिप्लाई एक्चुअल स्टेट वट एवर यू वॉन्ट यू कैन रिप्लाई दैट इज द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द सर्किट ब्रेकर ओके लेट्स इम्प्लीमेंट इन टू द अप्लीकेशन सो फॉर द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन वॉट वी नीड we need to add some dependencies what dependencies we need to add first of all resilience 4j this is the spring crowd starter circuit broker reactor resilience for the basically two types is uh, resilience 4j application is uh, nowadays available one is reactor one is non reactive okay one is reactor thing one is non reactor thing so i will show you both of things but this is the advance so i am using this one okay this is the dependency first dependency second one aop dependency we need because of the some application level communication or aspect oriented programming we need here so that it will communicate here second one actuator for your for your health purpose health means i can show you what is going on if i circuit the circuit breaker calling okay another point we need to update let's suppose we need we have a controller and in the controller in the controller we have a get mapping uh, on the top of the below we need to put at that circle circuit breaker annotation with the name some kind of id this is the id and this is the fallback method fallback method is equal to fallback method we need to put fallback method same as it is which is return type of a get mapping so this is the return type this is the return type same type we need to return type here okay so make sure we need to same return type this is the return type and here this is the return type it should same okay okay so this is the way we can respond some dummy data like fallback method it is calling and this is an a service unavailable some such kind of thing we can reply to fallback method fallback means if actual method is not working then what we need to reply we can reply with the fallback method but once fallback method uh, once uh, there is a one particular number of hits present then your spring application your circuit breaker um, system will stop the call of the another service okay and also we need to update some uh, application dot property file like has circuit breaker enable health enable yes enable we need to do health enable okay and register health indicator is equal to true with this this uh, resilience 4j circuit breaker instance circuit breaker service and register health indicator should be true event consumer buffer size should be 10 and this things we will add into our application and now let's see now it's time for the implement actual implementation so as you know already we uh, started eureka server and school application okay so we will see uh, implementation of the resilience for j or you can say implementation of the circuit breaker so uh, in the last time we saw you na eureka server so let's start and see in the eureka server is up or not so it is up up and in my case there is a two application client one and school is running okay i have uh, have not started api gateway okay 
so now we will see what what changes we did in our application so first of all uh, in the pom.xml we added three dependencies the first one is resilience for j a starter aop and actuator actuator use i can show you what what we are doing along with application dot properties file we added these things uh, in point with web dot exposure include all or you can say health also uh, health dot show details always it will show and these things basically register health indicator we will say true event consumer buffer size 10 buffer size says 10 within that uh, Failure rate threshold, failure rate threshold 50%, minimum number of call 5. If we hit 5 calls, then only uh, uh, we will, if then, on, then only we will activate the circuit breaker, circuit breaker and it will made as a uh, circuit breaker open state. Okay, so we will see uh, its implementation also. So, I started the application here. Right now, you can see if I call my application, uh, my controller and from school 8081 and I, so now it is calling, okay, no issue. And this is the my application actuator health. If we hit this application, it will show some, some information. What information it will show? It will show circuit breakers information disk uh, and other Eureka, uh, Eureka server is up and also some disk information, how many uh, URL other things, all information it will display. So application name is Eureka client one and school, uh, it will show. So basically uh, these information it is related to us. For right now what is state is, state is closed. Once it is closed. Uh, there is no issue circuit breaker will not activate okay when it will activate we will hit once it is active uh, means it is uh, calling a third another application it is okay no issue but once it is down let me down my school application this is the school application and i stop the school application school application only Setting down application now. Now application is setting down. Now I will hit current state is closed. Okay. Now I if I hit what will happen? It will call fallback method. Okay. So it is saying fallback method call, and I print the exception also. So it is showing exception and connection refused. This is the first time occurrence. If, it, if I hit first time, it will open. No, it will not open. Okay. I hit second, third, fourth. Okay. So I hit four times. Still, it is open or not? It is clo under closed state. Let me hit another time. It is I calling fifth time. Let show you. It is closed or open? It is closed. Another time. This is the sixth attempt. I hit. If I hit the sixth attempt, it will show method called illegal state of action. No instance for the school. It is saying another thing. No instance of the school. What if I refresh it? Then what will show? It will say half open because it will say half open. Half open means uh, uh, after six second, it will activate as a half open state. Now hit again, what happened? Half open, hit again, again, what happened? Half open, half open. Okay, so basically it's a one, once it is, let's see. Again, I am starting a school application. I started a school application. Now I hit what happened no instance available no instance available okay now it is open state no further all uh, now it is a open state if i hit 
it will say it is op half open one minute now it is uh, running state actually so it should return the response it should return a response still it is not uh, uh, initializing 100 percent yes now it's initializing 100 percent so you can see it will take little bit time let's see in the eureka it's up uh, showing or not it is up It is showing no instance available for a school. It means uh, till now it's not updated. Let's wait uh, two minutes. So it will come. Huh. So you can see now, now it is coming. Okay, now it is coming means Uh, we will see no server available for the school you resolving Eureka endpoint with the via configuration. Okay. We will restart this application, uh, restarted the school application so that we can see it is returning the correct response or not. It is returning correct response every time now. Okay. It will take little bit time to update all the things, but uh, ultimately it is working fine. Okay. So now we will see what happened. Now this is the closed state. Let me stop this one. Let me stop this school application. Let me stop school application. School application I stop. I stole application I stop. Let's hit. Let's hit. Okay. This is the first attempt connection refused. Second attempt connection refused. Third attempt connection refused. Fourth attempt connection refused. Fifth attempt connection refused. Now you, you can say connect, circuit breaker is open state. Circuit breaker is open state. This is now open state. After some time, after some time means after 10 seconds. Uh, what I configured here after some 10 seconds, uh, it will see, it will check sliding window 10. Wait duration open state 10 seconds if it is open, uh, wait and then it is going to half, uh, half open half open means it will another hit now check now this is the half open state it will check another hit and check it is coming or not if it is not coming then we will see no further permit allowed no instance of level no instance of level no instance of level and no open state because we we implemented three attempts we implemented three permit number of call in half open state is 3 so we have implemented 3 so it is saying perfectly it means how flow is working this is the most important important is this let's suppose we implemented circuit breaker this is the id of the circuit breaker this is the fallback method fallback method 1 the fallback method come check here same response should be present and this id this id configuration we will hear we will do here circuit breaker service this is the id actually this is the id if you want another circuit breaker this will you can change this circuit breaker service name here this is the id okay so i hope you got this point next time we will see more things like retry hits and other uh, systems we will see uh, for the time it's okay uh, for this time i think you learn how to circuit breaker implementation do, did um, one another uh, key points go to the official website official website is resilience for the readme.io if you gone through this here you will see lot of stuffs and other things okay like circuit breaker uh, in the circuit breaker this is close open half state you read it uh, time based sliding window and rate based also sliding window is present uh, so many things are here you can 
config property and its description you can easily understand what's going on here uh, another implementation uh, another way of doing so much things here so just uh, keep to update uh, this is the new thing in circuit breaker which i tell you that is the non blocking solution of the uh, which one this circuit breaker reactor resilience 4j reactor resilience 4j if you hit here you can see there is a two types non reactive application and this is the reactive application okay so this is the advanced thing you can go ahead with this with this way okay thank you for watching bye bye we will see in the next video